Well, it is time for funnel cakes and Ferris wheels in Manatee County. Always a good time. And for hundreds of Bay Area children, it's also time to compete in livestock shows. News Channel 8's Brianda Villegas shows us how they're preparing now. More than 500 students are putting their skills to the test for the next week and a half. 67 of them are actually showing steers right here at this arena. You got to give them a little wash and a nice brush and yep, even a blowout. The experience is amazing. If you do it, you learn many responsibilities, um, time management and more. It's like amazing. <laughs> Giovanna and Chloe Castillo are showing Twisky and Twilight this year. New animals, like, they can have different personalities, and you can see on how they act, and you can, like, learn more because they are um, different from other ones. The steers will be shown and judged. They're looking at structure, they're looking at muscle quality, they're looking at fat finish. And later sold, a process these students learn all about. And they're learning how their meat is, is produced, you know, and how we get a safe food quality product, you know, all the way to the table and to the consumer. High school senior Jace Gutshaw. So I've been showing steers for nine years and heifers for 10. Says being in organizations like FFA and 4-H teaches students like her how to stay dedicated. I'm out at the barn weekends, weekdays, um, spring break. I'm usually with my calves every day. For her, it's more than just studying agriculture. It's a way of life. Loved it ever since I've started. I go pretty much every weekend. And I mean, like I would rather not do anything else. I would do this the rest of my life if I could. Giovanna, Chloe and Jace, they are going to be participating in the steer showmanship competition this Friday here at the fair. And if you do want to check out the Manatee County Fair, you can do so from now until the 22nd. In Palmetto, I'm Brianna Villegas, eight on your side.